Hello everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another tutorial. And this time I thought we'd take a quick look at hair, how to get it done, how to put it in certain places, and all things like that. So with that said, let's get started. So we'll leave the camera, and we'll delete the light, we don't need that, and we'll delete this cube. And we're going to use Suzanne the monkey to actually do this. So to bring Suzanne in, we're going to press Shift A, and we're going to go to Mesh, come down and you'll see monkey. Now to make this easier to put the hair on, what we'll do is we'll come over to our little spanner which is the modifiers tab, go to add modifier and you're going to bring in a subdivision surface. Click the viewport up twice, click the render up once and then it should be near enough nice and smooth. Now you need to do is right click and shade smooth. And now what we're going to do is we're going to tell Blender where to actually put the hair in. So I'm going to click apply, I'm going to press tab and you'll notice now we've got a lot more subdivisions to actually pick from. So first of all, double tap the A, and then what you're going to do is you're going to come to face select. And now we're going to do, we're going to press the C button, and that's going to allow you to select a load of faces in one go. Now to move the brush in and out to make it bigger and smaller, just use the middle mouse button. To select something, you press the left button on your mouse, and to deselect it, you press the middle button. So I'll start from this side, and I want some hair coming down these to give them a bit of a sideburn kind of look. And let's go around the front now. And normally I would take a lot more time with this, but just to show you how I'm going to do this, I'm going to be relatively quick. So let's bring it around there. And now let's just try and join these up. Making sure I've got every one. Something like that. Then what we'll do is we'll come across to our little green triangle over here, and you'll see something that's called vertex groups. If we click the plus button on here, and then we're going to rename this group, so double click it, and just call it hair, press enter, and then come down and click assign. Now, just to make sure they are assigned, just click deselect, and they should all disappear. And now if you press select, they should all appear again, which means that this now is a vertex group. Next thing I want to do is bring in some materials. So I'm going to press tab, and I'm going to come across to my materials tab, which is this football icon here. Click on there, come up to the plus button, click plus, click new, and I'm going to just put this a bit of a brownish color just for his skin. So bring it down, and at the moment you won't be able to see anything, and that's because we've not set this on EV. So let's set this on EV, and what we'll do now, we'll bring in our light. So shift A, come down to where it says light, come down to where it says sun, and bring in a sun. At the moment there's no gizmo there, so let's press shift space bar, come down to where it says move, and now you'll be able to move it out, and then what I tend to do is I press R, X 45 RZ minus 45 and that puts in a really really nice position then so we've got some nice shadows. Next thing is we'll click on our monkey again Suzanne we'll come over to our materials panel and then we'll add another material and this time I want it a nice red color so click new come down to where it says base color and let's put this on a reddish color something like that and then what we'll do is make sure we've got this one selected and just click the up arrow. Why are we doing that is because what Blender does is it turns the color of the hair the highest material on this list here. So that's why we put that up there. Normally I would name these as well but for this tutorial we don't need to do that. Now what we need to do is we need to assign that vertex group to this material. So what we'll do is we'll come over to the three triangles again, we'll press tab and the hair should already be selected. If it's not, just click select, come back to your materials tab and just click assign. And now it should look something like that, which is kind of freaky. So next thing we need to do before bringing in our hair, we'll actually click on this little TV here and we're going to put ambient occlusion on. It just makes the hair look so much better. And we'll also put screen space reflections on, click this button down and just put refraction on. And now we're ready to bring in some hair. So let's come over to the particles system tab, click on there, click new and then just come down to where it says emitter and just change that over to hair. And you'll get something pretty crazy like this. And now before we do anything else, let's put the hair where we want it. So come down to where it says vertex groups, click on there, go to where it says density and click hair. And now you'll have the hair just in the places where the vertex group was actually made. Now let's reduce the hair length and it says hair length here. Just drag this back until it's something that you're happy with. And don't worry too much about the hair length because we can actually make it longer or shorter in the next process I'm going to show you. Now let's thicken up this hair a bit. So if we come over to where it says children, come across to interpolated and click that on. And now you'll see that we have a nice 
thick, bushy hair on our Suzanne. Now what you might want to do here is just turn up the display amount. That just gives you a better idea when you're messing around with this hair, how it's actually going to look. So if we turn that up to something like 50, that should be easily enough then, so you've got a good idea how it's gonna turn out when it's actually rendered. Now let's change a couple more options and then we should be ready to comb this hair. So come down to clump in, turn that up a little bit just to clump them a little bit together and you can mess around with the shape as well just to get it to your liking. You can see doing this you can actually make fur as well but for this we're just going to keep the hair pretty simple. Now come over to your TV again, click on it, come down to where it says hair and let's put it on strip just to make it so we've got a better idea what it's going to look like. It's a little bit too thick I find when you're dealing with the uh, strand. And now let's come over to where it says object mode and put that on particle edit and you'll get something like this. Now it's pretty hard to work with when it's like this. So come over to the little spanner here, come down to options and make sure children is clicked on. And now you should be able to brush it with the hair all in place. So what we've got here as you can see is comb. So that's the first one I use. If you want to make this brush size bigger, you just press F hold it down and then you can pull it out and then just release it and then you've got a bigger brush. So let's uh, start pulling this down now and if it slows down your computer a bit too much you might have to turn the children down or turn off this option here and that'll make it a little bit easier for you. So let's just brush this into place. Something like that. I think I'll do the back as well. And then I'll just pull this out a little bit. And you have another option here as well, which is smooth. So now you can just go in and smooth it all off. Just make it nice and smooth. And then you've got one here that says uh, length. So if we come now, we can actually start pulling it out like this and making it a little bit longer on the back. And don't worry if you pull it out a little bit too long, we can sort that out as well. Let's pull these down a bit. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to cut them. So all we need to do is just drag it across and you can actually cut them as well. And now what we'll do is we'll come back to where it says particle edit, come up to where it says object mode, and now just bring in the camera, so shift A, camera. Get a nice position of where you want to take your render of, something like this. Press Control alt 0 and that'll put your camera exactly where you're looking. Press the end button, come to where it says view. Click on lock camera to view. And now what you can do, you can zoom it out a little bit with the middle mouse. And if you hold control shift and the middle mouse, you can actually zoom it in nice and slowly. And shift and middle mouse, and you can actually move it up and down. Then you should be able to get a nice view of what it's gonna look like. Finally, come up to render and click render image. There we go everyone, a very quick tutorial on how to actually do hair. So I hope you enjoyed that everyone. If you liked it, give me a like. Drop me a comment down below if you've got any other ideas for tutorials. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you want to support the channel, check out the links down below. So with that said, happy modeling everyone. See you on the next one.